smells so good in here. Hi, how are you? Welcome. How are you? I'm Teresa. I called. I have two of my girlfriends meeting me here. We're gonna do some healing. Wonderful. Oh my God, your shop is so beautiful. Thank you. I have like so many crystals. Crystals absorb negativity and um, just energy that's not yours. I have so, a lot of that. I'm yeah. sure. Oh my God, I love this Buddha head. Is this for sale? That one's not for sale. I really like this. Cause I'm having a party. It's called Tipsy in Tulum. I love it. Yeah, it's in the backyard. So I wanted to put it by the jacuzzi. When I think about Tulum, I think very little clothing, letting loose, smoking, weed. Now we're getting... <laughs> I'm very, you know, spiritual. You have so many Buddhas. So do I. I had my 50th there, and we loved it. So we just wanted to share that Tulum feeling and send out good vibes to everyone. I mean, that one's part of the start, but we could definitely do something. OK. God, it smells so good in here. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, Teresa, this looks like your house. Yeah. This place is so cool. Hi. How are you? Are you excited for your party? Yeah. I am. I have a glitter person, fire dancers. Oh, I love that. Okay, so wear as little clothes as possible. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this store looks great right now, guys. This is big for me. The store is double the size. I have a lot more overhead than I did yes. before. Envy is bigger and better than ever. It's been almost a year at its new location. I'm so hands-on. I wanted to move my store closer to where I live now in Franklin Lakes. We moved into a space that is in an awesome town. The foot traffic is unreal. Come in, look around. Yeah, shop around, guys. It's thriving. Models will be here within half hour. Like, how hot is that? So cute. Right? Like, maybe someone's OK with showing their nipples. Yeah. <laughs> nipples are in. Yeah. Nipples are they in. They always yeah. are so in. So can we put that yeah. into the rack? I feel like super sexy is the vibe of this fashion yeah. show. I'm in the new community, and it's been a couple years since Envy's last fashion show. We want a buzz. My house is finally done, and Tony is off to college. It's time now to focus back on business. Let's go. Isn't this gonna be fun? I want them like naked under the coats. I do. Hi. Ooh, look at that rack. That's the model. It. Yes. Hi, girls. Hi. We got some models. I'm so excited to dress you guys. I have like 16 of them. I had seven or eight, and it was chaos. That's why I'm excited to see what. Like your dome. show is like. Did I send you an invite for the Envy fashion show? Yes. I have all the models coming to Envy, and then we'll start trying on the outfits. If you want to come, I would love that. Look at that number. Hey. Oh. The first thing that comes down has to be like the best. Yes. So I'm trying to figure that out. You know, you need to wear something from Envy to my Envy fashion show. This is all, like, how cute Ooh. is this, right? Love it. So guys, we're going to do some healing. All right, ladies. So just start to tune in. You can take a nice deep breath. My mind's too f***ed up to be cleansed right now. It's not happening. My mind doesn't shut off. So if you have any questions about anything, any crystals... What, what is this stuff? That? Oh, yeah, That's right. a tree. It's connected to abundance, to growth. So it's great for businesses if you're starting oh, a like new abundance. adventure. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. this is definitely something I want. Me and Paul are opening a business together. Aren't opening a business together? Yeah. What kind of business? Eco Electric. Can't wait to see you put in electric wires. He has electricians that work for him. I never even asked for it, but this was the commitment he wants to make. He's teaching me everything, and we're going to be in business together. So, what's up with his divorce? Oh, it's listen, he can't do more than he's doing. Yeah. Right. Like, marriage right now in my life, it's not the biggest thing, you know? Like, since when? I mean, didn't he say he had a ring? What are you talking about? Getting engaged? Does she tell you what kind of ring she wants? I already have it. <gasps> like, where is this ring? We're good yeah. right now. But it does seem that she gets uncomfortable by people asking her questions about her relationship. F you. I had enough. Go f your self. 
He's invested. It's Definitely. so clear. By the way, you missed quite the show of a housewarming party. Really? Yes. There was fights in every corner. So what did you think about the party the other night? <laughs> the gift situation was crazy. Can I just ask, why in the world do you think that that bottle was sent? OK. Honestly, why uh, do you I'm gonna, think? I'm going to answer that as someone who did that to my brother. Did you send your gift to your brother through your friends yeah. and he was going to have a big party for the baby? Mm -mm. Right. You do it when it's a personal thing, when it's real. This was not a personal thing. This was a spectacle. I delivered your bottle. And I said, Joe, this is from your sister. So Bill told me what he did with the card. What did he do with the card? He didn't even open it or read it. He just threw it in the fire. Am I surprised? Not at all. My brother is very petty. I mean, the only thing that was in the card was congratulations on your new home. Love, Louis and Teresa. Like, it wasn't an olive branch. It was just a gesture. Why did you send your brother a house room? I'm not going to take the credit for that. I don't want to take the credit for that. That was all my husband. Yeah, Louis wrote, wrote out the card. Congratulations. It was, very, it was a very nice Louis thing to say. I really didn't want to send it, because it's like, I'm not kissing anybody's ass. I don't want to make up with them. He's like, it's a, babe, it's a nice gesture. And I'm like, OK, fine. So then John, I guess, was talking about the oh, big 15-minute yeah. meeting. Yeah, exactly. And he it was basically said, just to clear his name, that he was not a drug dealer. Meanwhile, he was a drug dealer. Paul said that he brought up the Gia analogy. I mean, listen, I was younger than her daughter Gia is, right? And I know that in the past, I guess, Jack but an example. Right. And that got spun out of control. And why is John talking about my daughter I have no anyway? Idea.